Hello and welcome to a video presentation on integers. Here's what you'll learn. How to compare and order integers and determine absolute value. First of all, what are integers? Well, a number line's a good place to start when describing integers because integers are all of the counting numbers. Those are positive integers. They're opposites. Those are negative integers. And the number zero. Now, what are opposites? Positive numbers and negative numbers are opposites because they're on opposite sides of zero on a number line. For example, in our number line below, three and negative three are opposites. The number zero is its own opposite and is considered neither positive nor negative. Now, let's graph integers and their opposites. Graph 4 and its opposite on a number line. First, we'll graph 4 by placing a dot at positive 4 on the number line, like this. We know the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4, so place a dot at negative 4 on the number line to complete the problem. Now, let's graph negative 1 and its opposite on a number line. First, graph the negative one by placing a dot at negative one on the number line. We know the opposite of negative one is positive one, so we place a dot at positive one on the number line to complete our graph. Now let's write integers in order. Graph the following numbers on a number line and then order them from least to greatest. First, let's go ahead and graph each number on a number line starting with negative three then 0, 5, negative 5, negative 1, and positive 4. Now, integers to the left on a number line are smaller than those to the right. So, reading the dots on the number line from left to right gives us the order already in least to greatest. So, all we have to do is read the dots from left to right and we have our order. The smallest number is negative 5, then negative 3, negative 1, 0, 4, and then 5. That's the least to greatest order for those integers. What is an absolute value? Well, absolute value is a number's distance from 0 on a number line. The vertical bar symbol means absolute value. So, 3 with vertical bars around it is read as the absolute value of 3. Now, I have a warning for you. Please pay attention to this. It's a common error. Many people make the mistake of reading the absolute value as the opposite of the number shown between the vertical bars. Since absolute value is a distance, it's always a positive number. Or it could be zero in the case of finding the absolute value of zero. So let's find the absolute value of three. First, graph three on a number line. Now, how far is 3 away from 0? Well, it's probably pretty obvious that 3 is 3 units away from 0. So the absolute value of 3 is just 3. Let's find the absolute value of a negative number, the absolute value of negative 5. First, graph negative 5 on a number line. Now, how far away is negative 5 from 0? Since distance can never be negative, negative 5 is a positive 5 units away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. How about this question? What's the opposite of the absolute value of negative 34? Well, first you have to interpret absolute value bars like grouping symbols. And the order of operations tells us to perform grouping symbols first. So solve for the absolute value of negative 34. That gives us positive 34. Then the last thing we need to do is find the opposite of 34, which is negative 34. Let's talk about greater than and less than symbols. The symbol for greater than looks like this. The greater than symbol points to the right, the direction where numbers are larger or greater on a number line. 
The symbol for less than looks like this. The less than symbol points to the left, the direction where numbers are smaller or less on a number line. So let's compare some numbers and fill in the box with greater than, less than, or equal to. First, 2 compared to negative 15. What is 2 compared to negative 15? Did you get greater than? Hopefully you did, because positive numbers are always larger than negative numbers. Let's try another one. How about negative 20 compared to 11? Did you get less than? Negative numbers are always smaller than positive numbers. Let's try this one. Negative 32 compared to negative 10. Did you get less than? Negative 32 is farther to the left on the number line than negative 10. So that makes negative 32 smaller or less than negative 10. How about this one? 2 compared to the absolute value of negative 15. Did you get less than? The absolute value of negative 15 is 15, which is larger than 2. So 2 is less than the absolute value of negative 15. Let's try the absolute value of 11 compared to 11. Did you get equal? The absolute value of 11 is 11, which is equal to 11. And one more, the absolute value of negative 2 compared to negative 10. Did you get greater than? The absolute value of negative 2 is 2, and positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. So congratulations, you've learned how to compare and order integers and determine absolute value.